السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. I'm Ashraf Khater, professor of surgery at Mansoura University. Today we will speak about a very, very, very important subject in surgery, which is ulcer. Uh, one of the important items or important topics in surgery is the ulcer. The same for the lymph node, uh, which uh, is about the lymphadenopathy. So the ulcer is a very, very important subject. We have the lump, we have the ulcer, we have the lymph adenopathy. They are very important clinical topics in surgery in general. What's the meaning of ulcer? What's the meaning of ulcer? It is the beginning. يعني إيه ulcer. أول حاجة نعرف what's the difference between sinus and fistula and ulcer. What's the difference between all? Number one, this is the sinus. Sinus is an opening communicating into a blind, a blind cavity filled with bus. يعني abscess, for example, abscess and the abscess pointed and opened by an opening. So opening and the track into a blind abscess cavity. This is the sinus. For example, the bilobial sinus. Bilobial sinus. Bilo from the hair. Sinus filled with pus and infection and the hair inside. It may occur opposite the sacrum uh, in, at the back. It may occur in the umbilicus. So it is called bilobial sinus. This is an example for the sinus. Sinus opening communicating into blind abscess cavity. But fistula, fistula, it is not blind. Fistula, it is a tract which is formed of granulation tissue and uh, containing pus and debris and so on and so It is a track between either a lumen and the skin or lumen with lumen, maybe internal fistula or external fistula opening into the skin. The fistula has two openings, internal opening and external opening, and the best example is the perianal fistula. Perianal fistula is a fistula communicating either the uh, rectum or uh, the anal canal into the skin by internal opening and external opening. Or maybe internal fistula, for example, fistula between the intestine and the bladder, between the intestine and the vagina, and so on. So it is a tract containing bus and debris communicating two openings, either both openings are internal or one internal and one external. This is the fistula. The sinus is blind. What's the meaning of ulcer? Just ulcer is a discontinuity of the skin or mucous membrane. Defect. Hofra. Hofra. Nora. Just discontinuity of the skin or the mucous membrane. This is the ulcer. This is the ulcer. It may be, the ulcer may be traumatic, for example, maybe traumatic in origin, or maybe pathological in, in origin by any cause, as we will see. This is the definition of the ulcer, discontinuity of the skin or mucous membrane, either traumatic or pathological. A very important topic is how to describe an ulcer الوصايه العشر the ten commandments بنقول الكومنت عشر حاجات how to describe an ulcer ten items ten items ولازم نحفظ ال ten items دول اوعى تنسى واحد منهم the first is the border of the ulcer what's the meaning of the border border is the outline of the ulcer ulcer اهي مدوره الاوتلاين ده هو ده اسمه the border is the outline, outline of the ulcer. This is the border. Then the margin. The margin is just one or two millimeters around the border. The border, the milli or the milli around the border, they are the margin. Margin may be raised margin, may be beaded margin. This is the margin. That to be differentiated from number three, the third item, skin around. Skin around, مش هو بقى ال one or two millimeters around the border. لا, skin away, skin away from the margin. It is different from the margin. Margin قلنا one or two millimeters around the border. لكن skin around is away from 
one or two millimeters of the skin away. The best example is the varicose ulcer. Skin around the varicose ulcer usually, usually is pigmented. Usually there is what we call dermatoliposclerosis, sclerosed, pigmented, loss of hair, uh, atrophied. This is for the venous ulcer, skin around the ulcer. It is around, this is away from the margin. The fourth comment is the floor of the ulcer. And the floor, what I huh, see, what I see. The floor, what I see by my eyes in the floor, it may contain, if it is healing ulcer, may contain healthy granulation tissue, or in the ulcer, infected ulcer may contain bus and debris, in the malignancy may contain necrotic material. This is what I see. It is the floor of the ulcer. It is the floor of the ulcer. What's the difference between the floor and the base? The base is what I uh, what I feel. Look, the ulcer, the ulcer, the base بتاعتها, what I feel by my hand. What I feel, this is the base, not what I see. What I feel, نقول قاعدة الكوباية مثلا, this is the base. والكومنت بتاعي ايه على البيز؟ نقول الكومنت على البيز, is it indurated؟ يعني فيها fibrosis, احسه hardness of the base, or non-indurated, or not indurated. Not indurated usually it is an acute ulcer. لكن indurated usually it is a chronic ulcer. طيب how to differentiate between chronic inflammatory ulcer and the malignant ulcer. We all in the malignancy, the induration is beyond the border of the ulcer. We know the border, the outline. In the malignancy, we all in the induration exceeds the border of the ulcer, while in chronic inflammatory ulcer, the induration is limited to the border of the ulcer. مهمة أوي أوي حتة ال induration. كمان comment. وأنا بمسك ال base of the ulcer comment على is it tender or not is it tender or not يعني وأنا بحط إيدي على ال base of the ulcer is it tender or not كمان comment وأنا ماسك ال base try to move the ulcer is it mobile ulcer or fixed ulcer to the underlines يبقى مجرد بحط إيدي على ال base بتاعت ال ulcer بقدر أعرف ال induration وهل ال induration equal to the border of the ulcer or beyond the border of the ulcer وبقدر اعرف is it tender or not وبقدر اعرف is it mobile or not ثلاث حاجات مجرد بمسك القاعدة بتاعت الكوباية بايه بايدي مهم اوي اوي بعد ما عرفنا الفلور what I see and the base what I feel and move is it, it is the base مهم اوي اللي هي ال edge of the ulcer وكتير اوي بيتلخبطوا بيفتكروا ان ال edge هي ال border no the classic definition of the edge اللي هي pattern of cutting of the ulcer كأن واحد بيقطع كيك كيك how to cut the cake you are cutting sharply like that or you are cutting like that the pattern of cutting هي دي ال edge وال edge هي المسافة the distance between the border and the floor so the edge is the distance of the area in between the border and the floor this is the edge and the edge differs. The first example is what we call sloping edge. Sloping like that. Usually sloping edge with healing ulcer. لأن بيحصل إيه تملة. بيحصلها filling by granulation tissue. فعشان كده تبان إيه sloping edge. Or maybe undermined edge. Undermined. So the pattern of cutting is like that. By undermining. This is a classic of TB. The لأن الـ TB organism is a weak organism prefer proliferation into the subcutaneous tissue rather than proliferation into the skin. So it dissects by undermining. So undermined edge is characteristic for TB. Maybe bunched out edge. It is parallel. Bunched out edge may be in syphilitic ulcer, may be in the peptic ulcer. The edge may be raised, raised, and inverted or rolled in. This is classic for the basal cell carcinoma. Maybe averted outside in the growth. It is malignant ulcer, either squamous cell carcinoma or melanoma, characterized by raised everted edge. 
These are the types of itch, maybe slowing, maybe undermined, maybe punched out, maybe raised inverted or rolled in, or maybe raised everted and rolled out. These are the types of itch. Very important comment is the distal effect of the ulcer. Is the ulcer is causing edema, for example, or lymphedema, or nerve uh, palsy, for example, if malignant ulcer invades the nerve, causing, for example, foot drop or wrist drop. What about the distal effect causing ischemia? This is the distal effect. And the last one of the 10th comment, the lymph node. As we mentioned in the examination of the lump, the lump is a triad. The lump itself, the distal effect and the lymph node, the same for the ulcer. The ulcer itself, the distal effect and the lymph node, comment on the lymph node. Is it significant or not? Significant lymph node is more than one centimeter, painless and hard, or non-significant. Is it soft? Is it tender? Is it small lymph node? And if you find the lymph node, what about the number? What about the mobility of the lymph node? As usual, as we commented on the lymph node, and we will discuss later on. Uh, this is an example to a face ulcer. It is a classic ulcer of basal cell carcinoma. And observe the rolled in edge with beading of the margin. It is a classic ulcer for the uh, basal cell carcinoma. And here, this is a squamous cell carcinoma of the lip. And observe the raised and everted edges. This is an example for squamous cell carcinoma of the lip. The question may be for you. The question may be differential diagnosis of ulcer in the tongue. Ulcer in the tongue. To mention about sharp tooth, to mention about the chronic inflammatory ulcer, about the malignant ulcer and TB ulcer and so on and so. Maybe ulcer in the face to differentiate between basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, melanoma, keratoacanthoma and so on and so. Maybe ulcer in the neck. Maybe ulcer in the leg to differentiate between ischemic ulcer, varicose ulcer and trophic ulcer. Maybe ulcer in the back to differentiate the bed sores or the cubitus ulcer from malignant ulcers and so and so. Maybe ulcer in the genitalia. These are very important topics, ulcer anyway. Hoping you a much of success and best of luck. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.